my way today <coughs> I want to show you a quick video on how to do the calculations on Excel uh, on Google Sheets it works the same on Excel by the way uh, so if you want to actually calculate like the wave speed I'll make this here a bit bigger so that you can actually see properly what I'm doing um, you always start with an equal sign and the wave speed we learned is frequency times wavelength so I am going to click on the frequency here which is in this cell called A12 shown up here and I'm going to multiply it and that's the star sign by the wavelength and that's this box here a cell B12 so I'm pressing enter and now it's suggesting to auto fill all these values for me and I'm going to accept that if you click on any of these you now see that it has actually done these calculations like here for A18 times B18. So that's exactly what I want. That was the first part, the first task. Then you want to plot uh, the wavelength against the frequency. So you would just highlight this, create a scatter graph and uh, add a line of best fit to this. So here it suggests on, in my case here, the scatter graph automatically. I'm going to uh, add a line of best fit, click on series, scroll down, click on trend line and if you look at this, I'm going to reduce the zoom, uh, this line of best fit clearly doesn't fit uh, so I need to go for a power series and I also want to see the equation, click on the label, use equation and there it tells me what the equation is. I expect an inversely proportional relationship, so it should be times x times the frequency to the power of negative 1. Um, but that's not quite the case, it's close to that, it says negative 0.984. That's my first one. The third task is to actually calculate, oops, come on, move, there we go. The third task is to actually now plot 1 over the frequency. So I'm going to insert another column here. I'm going to call this 1 over f in 1 over hertz or seconds. And I'm going to say equals 1 over 60 in this case, autofill. Okay, the numbers are very small. I'm going to add a few more decimal places. That looks better. I'm going to highlight these cells and insert another graph and the column chart is not what I want I want a scatter graph that looks better and I want again a trend line and this time a linear trend line works perfectly well and I'm going to use this equation here and what you see now is that you do actually get um, this equation and with v equals Sorry, with f, the, no, that's not right, with lambda, the wavelength, on my y-axis, they're not labeled here, but you can see that the numbers actually make sense. It goes up to 0 0.61. Um, and 1 over f plotted on the x-axis, I have lambda, the wavelength, equals to v, the wave speed, times 1 over the frequency. So my gradient here is my wave speed 36.5 and that is very much in line with what we calculated here earlier. I could now add the labels to the axes which uh, I would expect you to do in a if you were to share this data uh, but just to show the process this will probably do the trick.